Hello world. I would like to address people that have been commenting on my comments about Dr. Umar Johnson and Tariq Nasheed's endeavors, their crowdfunding or whatever. I um, am not a hater, first of all. I could care less what either one of them do. I don't live with either one of them. I'm not married to either one of them. Their lives are not going to um, affect mine in any way, shape, or form. I'm just speaking on what I'm seeing. It doesn't make me a hater. Anyone that questions someone, they're not haters either. You just want to know. Just like if you... It, like a woman one day she has a short natural hairstyle one day and then she comes to work the next day with a long weave all the way down to her butt if someone asks her a question any type of question that doesn't make them a hater it's just a question you know now that that's out the way when it comes to i'm gonna go with umar first okay he's doing a block party for his um in his gym or whatever he does have the buildings and he's working on them i commend that Okay, it has been some years, and with the amount of money that I'm almost certain that he's not telling everyone exactly how much money he made. I'm almost certain of that because if he made the amount of money, even that he said that he made, he would have a whole lot more progress by now. Um, and uh, yeah, I can't believe that people are still, I don't know, donating to him because with the money that he's gotten, that he's that he has. He could have done so many different things by now to get the morale up. He, uh, it's just so many, it's a plethora of ideas. And that's, if anything I'm hating on, how can two men get so much support on something when the man is supposed to be the worker? If a man doesn't work, he doesn't eat. Okay, but they're being pretty much supplied by mostly women. But um, to get off of Dr. Umar, because that's not mostly where I'm getting my hate comments from. My hate comments are coming from Tariq Nasheed's uh, Hidden History Museum in Los Angeles, California, where I live in the South. I know for a fact I'm never going to go. I don't even want to drive to California to see the Hollywood signs. Like, I've never even, I don't want to go to California. I'll go to Arizona, but I don't want to go to California. But anyway. He needs a million now, seven million, quote unquote, in total. Where's the paperwork on that? Where are the land plots? Um, you know what I'm saying? Where's your deeds? Where he hasn't shown anyone any type of information as to how much that small plot of land could cost. And then y'all have to think about the building. The building's not there. Little black building that he keeps showing, the little black cube, <laughs> Saturn worship. It's not there yet. And it's all black. Um, symbolism all day. But it, that building's not there yet. That's just a replica. That's a 3D replica that someone thought of. Number one. Okay. If I'm a hater for that, the building's not there yet, that's the truth. That's not me hating. That's the whole truth. That's not what the building looks like. There is no building. It's just a plot there. As for a million dollars down, like, that is a lot of fucking money, first of all, to put into a building that I hate to say, a lot of people probably aren't even going to be interested in going to. The opening day might be wonderful and great and beautiful, but after that, really think about it, like, and then with the message that Tyreek Desheed has put out about white people, is he only expected for black people to go there? Are white people going to be able to come in and join? I'm just wondering, how is this going to go? And then, again, with both of them, put them both in the same bucket, the revenue for these places, how are they going to maintain these places if it costs so much to get the places? They're going to have to get the money to um, keep it going for some years. Okay, go in the house. They're going to have to keep it going for some years. So that's even more money. Where's that money going to come from? If you guys are both wanting to keep uh, your business strictly with with the black community. Like, I just don't see how this is going to work. I hope that it works. That will, It will be awesome. It will be beautiful. 
But honestly, with the money that both of them have acquired, that's a big old bird, they could have done so many things. They could have made so many grocery stores. They could have made so many black-owned um, farms. And, and Tariq Nasheed's in California. Weed's legal in California. He could have his own. There's so many other things that they could have done, but they both are focused on a structural building. Buildings. There's so many other things that could have been done. It could have been fixed. Um, so many black people on Skid Row down there in California. He could have bought a hotel and, you know, fixed it up or something and looked out for those people if it's something. Because that's my goal. I always said if I ever, ever can get the chance to get a large amount of money, I'm not going to put a cap on it and, 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 and put a limit to my dream. But if I ever do get a lot of money... I want to get a hotel, an old hotel, or, I, of course, I don't want to build a new one. That's just ridiculous. Find a hotel somewhere or an old college dorm somewhere and open it up for real single parents and low-income families and run it like that. Run it like that. Everything is included. Where everything is included. You don't have to worry about anything, even the cable. Everything's included. That way, uh, because whenever you're dealing with bills, all bills don't come out on the first of the month. They're scattered around the whole month. It's like just as soon as you pay this, in two more weeks, you're going to have to pay that. And in and, and another two weeks, you're going to have to pay that. And you know what I'm saying? Some things you're going to have to pay twice a week. That has always been my thing. I want to get a hotel, fix it up where I can get some low-income families in, maybe some young families in that have smaller children where it's okay if, you know, they share one room or even fix them up somehow where I can split a hotel room into two areas. You know what I'm saying? The the the, possi the possibilities are endless whenever you have the funding. But I feel like they're putting, uh, they're limiting themselves by just having a school, by just having a museum. Like, what else? Like, there's nothing else. What if children don't want to go to a museum and see slave chains? What what if? That's just my take on it. And to the people that are literally following people around, you're going to a video that is against the person that you are, quote unquote, for, rooting for. You go to that video, watch it, maybe, maybe not. Or you just go straight to the comments and see who said something so you can say something to them. That is the complete worst thing that you could do with your time it makes no sense it's counterproductive like why why would you even if you know what's going on then you know what's going on that's just like some people don't like white chocolate some people don't like cinnamon How, people have their preferences people have their own mind and like i said being realistic about it there's so many other things that they could have did with the money that they received no i'm not pocket watching i don't give a shit i don't live with these people they don't pay my bills i don't pay theirs but in a broader sense of it, so many other things could have been done to help actual people, you know what I'm saying, than a museum and a school. Like, there's situations that need to be fixed right, right now. Like, housing is going crazy right now. Couldn't get no buildings. Couldn't help out any single mothers. No, it's not their fault that the mother is single. It's not the single mother's fault either. Not the children's fault either. We're like we couldn't get no centers, no uh, no black boys and girls, black boys and black girls club. Like no one thought to give the kids something to do. School's cool, but half the time kids don't want to go to school anyway. It's just my thoughts.